In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Cape Cod. Before we get into the first thing to do, make sure you check out the links in the description, where you can find discounts on activities and things to do. And if you're looking to fly first class for free on your next flight, check out travelsecrets.guide, where you can find our 100% free guide on how we flew for free to over 62 countries in first class. Now, back to the video. At number one, we have the charming town of Sandwich. Known for its glass-making history, Sandwich offers a tranquil escape with its long, less crowded beaches. The town is home to the Dexter Grist Mill, a historic site where corn flour is ground using authentic grindstones powered by a water wheel. The Heritage Museums and Gardens is a must-visit, as is the Sandwich Glass Museum, showcasing over 5,000 pieces of 19th-century glassware. At number two, we have the Cape Cod Rail Trail. This 25-mile-long paved recreation path stretches from South Dennis to Wellfleet, passing through several towns. The trail offers a variety of scenic views and natural landscapes, making it a favorite among cyclists, walkers, and horseback riders. At number three, we have the town of Falmouth. Known for its beach resort and water sports, Falmouth also boasts a lively music, art, and theater scene. The Nobska Lighthouse and the restored 1878 Highfield Hall and Gardens are among the town's top attractions. At number four, we have the town of Chatham. Chatham is one of Cape Cod's most appealing beach towns, offering a scenic white sand beach, a lighthouse, and quaint shops and restaurants. The Chatham Pier Fish Market is a must-visit for the freshest seafood. At number five, we have the town of Hyannis. Known as the Ferry Port of Cape Cod, Hyannis is a bustling hub of activity. The town is home to the Cape Cod Maritime Museum and the John F. Kennedy Museum, offering insights into the region's maritime history and the Kennedy family's time in Hyannis. At number six, we have the town of Provincetown. Known for its thriving art and music scene, Provincetown offers a lively resort experience with plenty of beaches, walking and cycling paths, and boat excursions. The Pilgrim Monument and Provincetown Museum are among the town's top attractions. This town is also home to the picturesque Race Point Beach. At number seven, we have the town of Orleans. With beaches facing both the Atlantic and Cape Cod Bay, Orleans offers a variety of beach experiences. Surf at the popular Nosset Beach, watch the sunset at Rock Harbor Marsh, or stroll the streets of this classic coastal town. At number eight, we have the town of Dennis. Dennis is home to more than a dozen beaches and offers a variety of cultural experiences, including performances at the Cape Playhouse and exhibits at the Cape Cod Museum of Art. At number nine, we have the town of Yarmouth. Yarmouth is home to several beaches and two of Cape Cod's more unusual attractions, the Edward Gorey House and the Weta Pirate Museum. There is also a pirate-themed miniature golf course. At number 10, we have the Cape Cod National Seashore. This protected area stretches along the east coast of Cape Cod, offering beautiful beaches, woodlands, bird nesting grounds, and hiking trails. At number 11, we have the town of Brewster. Known for its quiet charm, Brewster is home to nine beaches on Cape Cod Bay and two freshwater beaches. The Stony Brook Grist Mill and the Cape Cod Museum of Natural History are among the town's top attractions. At number 12, we have the island of Martha's Vineyard. This island offers a more laid-back experience with its six small towns, each with its own distinct character, miles of beaches, and beautiful landscapes. At number 13, we have the town of Nantucket. This luxurious island town is known for its beautiful oceanfront homes, boutiques, pristine beaches, cycling paths, cobblestone streets, and historic and cultural attractions. At number 14, we have the Race Point Beach. One of the most beloved tourist attractions on Cape Cod, Race Point Beach offers a wide sand beach at the mouth of Cape Cod Bay and is home to the iconic Race Point Lighthouse. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Cape Cod. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.